My brother never was really weird about nudity. I, well, I was. So when I stayed for the weekend, I knew I had to bring my swimming clothes to shower. No matter how many times I told him, brothers, well, brothers never change. He lived in a nice house, in a very nice neighborhood, with a gorgeous family. He, his wife Nora and his son Sean would go camping with me for the weekend. The weather was good and we had quite a drive ahead of us and yet we had not yet left for our trip. We felt a weird feeling. Something in the air. Something was coming. And then... It came. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations. The bombs had dropped. Panic ensued, the neighborhood became a war zone. The military arrived in a hurry, vertebrates soaring overhead, people running everywhere. Some made it to safety, but others, others did not. When we finally reached the vault gate, I was not allowed in. I will find another way in. Hurry! I'm gonna make it. I had to run. I made it. I made it just in time. I don't remember a lot from the vault. We, we went in, talked to a strange doctor in an even stranger room and then flashes. Flashes of darkness, of loss, and of the unthinkable. The world changed outside, and we were trapped. What? Oh God. What? what the fuck? Is anyone alive? Hey, hey, Billy! Did anyone get out? Billy! Hmm? Get me out of here, dude! What the fuck happened? Hey, don't worry. I'll get you out of here. Are you okay? Ah, uh, Jesus. I, I think so. What, what, what happens? Where's Nora? They killed her. Holy shit. And, and Sean? He's... He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son! We gotta find an exit. What happened here? Where is everyone? Well, I... I don't know. What, what What? do you remember? I remember being in my house. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. This is an interesting room. Oh, interesting is a word for it. Huh. What do you think happened to him? Well... Well, I think he died, dude. Yeah. Come on. Let's get going. Gotta keep moving. Think you can unlock that terminal? Yeah, I think so. It says something about cryogenic experiment. What's that you all about? You made a neat gun. Thanks. Can I use it indoors? Hey, Billy, let's just let's just be careful with the goddamn pistol, okay? It's all right. Okay. You're safe now. What? What do you mean? Wasn't I safe before? Open the door. Yeah. It'll be all right. Sure. Here, the door. Are you okay, Billy? Absolutely. Let's get out of here. Yeah, me too, dude. Maybe we can find some sandwiches. So, what the fuck is that? Believe you, it's a giant roach. Oh. Don't move, roach. He'll be dinner uh, soon. Uh, Billy, what did you just say? What? What? What are you doing? You're not eating the roach, are you? Billy? Tastes like chicken. Okay, mate. Jet, let's, uh, let's just go this way, okay? I think I saw an exit sign over here. I saw my brother's mind fogging, consumed by grief. But we had to go on for Sean. All right, you check with the door. I'll check over here, okay? Well, look at that. To my pit boy. Whoa, is that, is that a pit boy Why are you asking about my what, pit boy What do you mean I'm asking about your pit boy It could actually... It's none of your business. It could actually get us out of here. You're obviously upset. Could you, could you, could you just, could you just use it uh, on the damn terminal? I'll unlock the cage. Thank you. 
It was obvious my brother was slowly losing his marbles, but hey, who could blame him after what we've been through? We both never were the same after that day, but we both knew. We would venture out into this new world, determined to find whoever took Sean and bring him home. Little did we know, we were about to face challenges beyond our wildest imagination.